All right, I know it's been a while. It, things have been crazy between the work life and now the school life and just not having any projects because uh, I'm not just going to make a video for the sake of making a video that's going to be garbage. So uh, my neighbor down the cross street and down the road a little uh, was out on a ride and hit apparently a crater in the road and knocked his handlebars back to him. Unfortunate, but a little bit of a silver lining is apparently now they're in a better position for him. So this is his 14? Yeah, 14 Street Glide. His bars were originally probably like another inch, inch and a half closer. He was saying that he wasn't able to open this before and now he can. So he likes where they're at, but we're going to go ahead and get to under here where that uh, riser clamp is and just re-torque everything because if they moved, hitting a pothole, something wasn't quite tight enough. So we're going to do that. And to do that, we're going to pull our two half inch acorns here. Behind this is another nut. I want to say it's a nut and stud combo. I want to say it's a half inch, but I'll get back to you on that. We're going to pull our, the inner skirt here. Uh, I don't recall the size on that, so I'm not even going to guess, but I'll fill you in once I know. Uh, I'm going to try to do that without pulling the ignition. I got stupid lucky when I did the bars on mine and everything just dropped right back in. I don't know that I want to take that risk on somebody else's bike. So we'll see if we can. If we can't, we'll hope for some good luck again. Uh, we'll get that out, pull those, and this whole thing should just rock up and forward about 45 degrees-ish, hang out there. It'll give us access to our top clamp so we can torque everything down. And I'll let you know the torque specs because I have the manual. Um, so let me grab some tools, start figuring out what sizes we need, and I'll check back in with you guys. All right, so like I said, it was two half inch acorn nuts, top and bottom, and then there, your blinker plate uh, comes away, disconnect your electrical there, and then right here is this, you know, nut stud washer combo thing, and this was a 9 16th. So still not sure what that is, but you know what? We're gonna find out right now. So, Nope, those are all torques. We don't want torques. Aha, there's the Allens. So, nope, that one's too fat. Let's just go with the little guy, see what happens. Hot dang, we have a 532nd for this side and the other. So I'll go ahead and get that other side loose. And like I said, we're gonna try to just lay this back against the tank and then lay the fairing forward. I will cover the fender uh, before we do that. So hopefully I don't actually have to remove this completely or risk pulling the ignition out. So wish me luck. All right, so we got the fairing forward. Note to self, if you didn't already know this, now I do, your outer fairing cap does have to come off because it will bind up down here on the lower triple tree. So, yeah, I, I fought it for a few minutes before I had this you know, aha moment. But, and you all be proud, see, got, got a towel on here. Before I did any of this, I can learn. So, but it was real simple. It just, it lifts straight up and rocks back and then it just kind of holds itself right there. We're able to leave that skirt there and it granted us access to these four bolts. And I think they're half inch, I'm not positive. But again, we're gonna find out. So, that's a three eighths, that's looking way too fat. Uh, that's a quarter inch. Ah, there we go, second guess was the right guess. They're quarter inch. So I'm gonna go to the book, I'm gonna get the torque spec, and I will let you guys know, but you can kind of see, it's not that hard. It was two bolts off the, the forks, fairing cap off, and, and in case anybody's wondering, these bolts on the inside are T27, and the long bolt goes up top, your short bolt goes down bottom. If you mix them up, you're gonna end up punching your bottom bolt through the fairing, or at least into the fairing and risk screwing up your paint, so don't do that. But let me go to my service manual. It's that monster over there by my tool bags. Find my torque specs, and we'll get this uh, cinched down real quick. Okay, so with the quarter inch, uh, the manual does call for 16 to 20 
foot pounds. So I went ahead and set it at 18 because I'm a middle of the road kind of guy. Uh, and these top two here, I got probably a good quarter turn out of before they clicked. The bottoms were a lot tighter, so I don't know what happened. It's not something that, you know, my neighbor did because he bought the bike like this. So maybe either they loosened up over time or whoever put these bars on didn't run torque spec. I, I don't know. Hard to say, but either way, it's secured. So now it's just a matter of tipping the fairing back up, reinserting the bolts. I'm going to remind you again. Long bolt up top, short bolt down bottom. So, and then everything should be good. He'll take it for a spin, but no, nothing's going anywhere. Kept that in place, so note to self. So let me go ahead and button this back up and kind of go from there. Okay, so all wrapped up. I think all in was maybe a 30 minute job. Probably could have shaved it down to 28 had I not screwed up and forgot to put the lower fairing skirt on and had to take some of this back off to put them you know who hasn't forgot to put a part on while they're reassembling something have to disassemble to convince to continue proper installation it's not just me you've all done it but but everything's right back to the way it was when he pulled it in the garage there is no visual change but there's a safety and security change now that that upper clamp has actually been torqued down so it shouldn't be bouncing around anymore on him as long as he avoids the craters that we have here in town so that's all i've got i think i touched on all of the the sizes that i used uh all their locations i feel like this was a little bit better than when we did the bars on the street glide uh, i know you didn't see me actually lift the fairing up and off i just felt like that's fairly self-explanatory to lift and tilt if it's not let me know and you can actually watch me lift and tilt. I don't know if you want to see that. I might make you guys pay extra for that. But that's all I've got. Questions, comments, concerns, as always, drop them down below. I did get something in the mail. Uh, I just got to wait to get a hold of the bike that they're going to go on, but we're going to have another install coming up. Uh, plus my very first install and review. Now, somebody really needs to reassess their values in life because they reached out to me and asked me to review their product and install it. I know what's wrong with me, but I don't know what's wrong with them. But hey, we're going to take advantage. We're going to do it uh, as soon as the bike makes it back into town. So uh, that's all I've got. We'll catch you guys next time. Later.